priority code is what late logarithmic algebraic trigonometric exponential so what is part first function into integration of second function minus integration of integration of second function into derivative of first function with respect to what x welcome to the session dear students so in today's class i'll go ahead with problems of indefinite integrals that is integration by parts before starting the problems of this let me teach you a method called integration by parts so parts means product rule so when you have a product of two functions product rule or we say parts please make a note of this when you have product rule or parts so we say integration of u into v is u into first function into integration of second function minus integration of integration of second into derivative of first so if i write 1 into 2 integration of first into second is first function into integration of second function minus integration of integration of second function into derivative of first function first into integral of second minus integral of integral of second into derivative of first and one more important thing is we have to follow i late i late means first inverse but you don't have inverse so late is the code late is the code late means logarithm first algebra next trigonometry next this is the first second third fourth priority logarithm is taken as first and algebra is second if you have algebra and trigonometry algebra is first trigonometry is second if trigonometry and exponential trigonometry priority and exponential next priority so priority code is what late logarithmic algebraic trigonometric exponential so now this is a parts please make a note of it integration by what parts so now integrating integration of 2 log x so we can integrate by what parts so now integration of 2 log x dx was the question so you know 2 is constant i can take it out i have integration of log x dx here i have only one function what i'll do i'll write it as integration of log x into 1 dx can i write integration of log x as log x into 1 what is log x into 1 log x so i had only one function called log x i'm writing it as log x into 1 product of 2 so now if you have product of two functions you can use product rule what is product rule first function into integration of second function minus integration of integration of second function into derivative of first function so first function is log x into integration of second function means 1 so my dear students we had log x i am writing log x as what log x into 1 so first into integral of second minus integral of integral of second into derivative of first so now that will give you so two outside as it is log x into all of you know integration of 1 dx is 1x minus again integration of this integration of 1 dx is what 1x into d by dx of log x what is d by dx of log x differentiation of log x is 1 by x with respect to dx now that is 2 log x into x minus i can cancel x and x if i cancel i am left out with integration of 1 dx so integration of 1 is what 1x so it will come log x into x minus integration of 1 dx is x outside we should put plus c so further if you take 2 inside 2 log x into x minus 2x plus c or i can say or i can say x 2x into log x minus 2x plus c this is the final answer So I hope all of you got it. So log x was the question. Log x I can write log x into one. So product of two functions means first into integral of second minus integral of integral of second into derivative of first. So now we use parts. Parts means what? Product rule, and we derived it. Next, integration of x cube into log x. There are two functions already with respect to what dx. So use late code. L A T E. L and R no logarithm. So A means algebra. See x cube is algebra. X power n is algebra. log x is logarithmic so first i'll rewrite this question first i'll write log x then i'll write into x cube 
dx. So this is first function. This is second function. If we have product of two functions, we should use parts. What is parts? First function into integration of second function minus integration of integration of second function into derivative of first function. So I'm using parts first into integral of second minus integral of integral of second into derivative of first. So now simplify this so it will become log x into integration of x cube. Integration of x cube all of you know x power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 or directly instead of wasting more steps. So directly what is integration of x power n? x power n plus 1, 3 plus 1. What is 3 plus 1? 4. x power 4 by 4 minus integration of x power 4 by 4. After you integrate this, it will become x power 4 by 4, this part. And derivative of log x, or if you know derivative of log x is 1 by x dx. So now I'll write this first. So first I'll write x power 4 by 4, then into log x. I'm rearranging. Minus I can cancel x and it will become x cube. Now the problem is integration of x cube by 4, I'll take it 1 by 4 dx. Now again it is in x power n form. So x power 4 by 4 plus log x minus 1 by 4 integration of x power 3 is x power 4 by 4 plus c. After integrating all the terms you should put plus c. So now finally we have x power 4 by 4 log x minus x power 4 by 16 plus c. That's it. I hope all of you understood this. What is integration of x power n? x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Next. We have so now in the last problem, we use the code called late. What is late? Late means what? Logarithm, algebra, and trigonometry means sine and cos like that. Exponential means e power. So the problem was x cube log x, right? So according to the rule, L comes first, then A comes. So that's why I rewrite. First I'll write log x, then I'll write x cube, then I integrate it. For this, I call this as first function, I call this as second function. We applied parts. What is parts? First into integration of second minus integration of integration of second into derivative of first. So first you memorize this parts. What is parts? First function into integration of first into second means first into integral of second minus integral of integral of second into derivative of first. First memorize the integration by parts formula, then you start integrating. Now same thing, 1 by x square into log x. So I told according to ILET, logarithm comes first and algebra comes next. I'll write this as integration of first, I'll write log x, then I'll write 1 by x dx. Now I'll use the parts formula. What is parts? First into integration of second function with respect to x minus integration of integration of second function into derivative of first function. This is parts. So we'll apply the same thing. So that is first function log x into integration of 1 by x square minus integration of integration of 1 by x square into derivative of log x dx that is log x into if you integrate this you know 1 by x square derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square so it will become minus 1 by x if you integrate minus integration of this is minus 1 by x into derivative of this is 1 by x dx now simplify this it will become minus log x by x plus integration of take minus common 1 by x square dx now you know integration of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x minus 1 by x plus c. See dear students you know derivative of 1 by x in the formula list again what is d by dx of 1 by x minus 1 by x square. So therefore integration of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x plus c. Il minus il minus illa. So that's it. So in minus 1 by x square 1 by x agatha. 1 by x square becomes minus 1 by x. That's what I have done. See, remember, integration of 1 by x square dx was there in this problem, if you see. So there, how to do this? There are two methods. One, I can take it up. Now I can use x power n formula. Integration of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So you will finally get x power minus 1 by minus 1. You will get minus 1 by x. This is what I wrote. I hope all of you understood. First I used parts. First I used parts. Then I used integration of x power n format. That's it. And derivative of log x, all of you know, what is d by dx of log x? 1 by x. Next, integration of 
x into e power 3x plus 5 dx. Again, we can use parts, but according to late L A T E algebra first exponential next. So this is first and this is second in the order. First A barata, I am E barata. So first function is algebra x. Second function exponential. It is in the order. So parts. What is parts? First function into integration of second function minus integration of integration of second function into derivative of first function with respect to what x. So now that is first function. What is first function? x into integration of e power 3x plus 5 dx minus integration of integration of uh, second function. What is the second function? That is same thing e power 3x plus 5 dx into derivative of x with respect to x x into you know e power x is e power x e power ax plus b is e power ax plus b divided by quotient of x what is quotient of x 3 minus integration of after you integrate it will become e power 3x plus 5 divided by quotient of x with x we have 3 by 3 into derivative of x is 1 dx so now x by 3 i'll write separately e power 3x plus 5 minus 1 by 3 i'll write separately Integration of this again becomes e power 3x plus 5 by 1 more 3 plus c. So further if I simplify, I will get our final answer is what? Final answer is x by 3 e power 3x plus 5 minus e power x 3x plus 5 divided by 9 plus c. That's it. So I hope all of you got this. So now in the last problem we used integration of e power ax plus b. What is integration of ax plus b dx? Integration of e power x is e power x. e power ax plus b is e power ax plus b by quotient of x. What is quotient of x? a plus c. This is what we used and we got integral of 3x plus 5 dx. What is integral of e power x? e power x. e power 3x plus 5 e power 3x plus 5 divided by quotient of x 5 plus c. That's it. I hope all of you got this. Next. Integration of x sin x, x into sin x. I told late L A T E. So trigonometry, algebra, algebra first, trigonometry next. It is in the order. It is in the order. So integration of x into sin x dx. So first function is this, and second function is this. Use parts. What is parts? First into integral of second with respect to x minus integral of integral of second with respect to x into derivative of first with respect to what dx. So same logic will apply. What is first function x? So x into integration of sin x dx minus integration of integration of sin x dx sin x dx into derivative of first function d by dx of first function is x with respect to x. So it will become x into integration of sin x is minus cos x minus integration of integration of sin x is minus cos x into derivative of x is 1 dx. Further simplify it will become minus x cos x minus you take it out plus integration of cos x dx. So that is minus x cos x integration of cos x is sin x plus c. So I hope all of you understood the method. So we use what parts. Then we have so in the last case L A T E x is what algebra sin x is trigonometry so it was the first and this was the second we use parts and we had simple formula which you know we had uh, we integrate parts parts means what product rule then d by dx of x we have we know one and integration of sin x we had what is integration of sin x cos x and we had integration of cos x what is integration of cos x minus sin x so these are the formula we used in solving the last problem then we have integration of x cosecant square x again first integration of x into cosecant square x dx so use parts so this is the first function this is the second function what is parts first into integral of second dx minus integral of integral of second into derivative of into derivative of what first function with respect to x wherever we have integral sign we should have dx so now that is first function. What is the first function here? x. x into integration of cosecant square x dx minus integration of integration of 
cosecant square x dx into derivative of what? x with respect to x. Now you know x into integration of cosecant square x is minus cot x minus integration of cosecant square x is minus cot x into derivative of x is 1 dx. Simplify this. So it become minus x cot x that is minus of minus becomes plus integration of we are left out with cot x dx. You know integration of cot x. So finally we will get minus x cot x plus integration of cot x. What is integration of cot x? Log of mod sin x plus c. Hence the proof. So now this is the final answer. So here what are the formula we used? Very important formula we used is integration of cosecant square x. What is integration of cosecant square x? So minus cot x. And we used regular parts or product rule. Product rule is also called as what? Parts. Parts we use. Now we will go to the next uh, question. Now integration of x square cos x. Integration of x power 2 into cos x dx. Now first function, this is second function. So use the rule that is first function that is x square into integration of cos x dx minus integration of integration of cos x dx into d by dx of x square dx. So now that is x square into all of you know integration of cos x is sin x minus integration of sin x into derivative x square is 2x dx. Again simplify this so it will become x square into sin x minus 2 you take it out we will have x into sin x dx. Again you should use parts. Again use parts for that so it will become x square into sin x into minus 2 use a bracket first function into integration of sin x dx minus integration of integration of sin x dx into derivative of first function with respect to x. Now if you simplify this you will get x square sin x minus 2x okay 2 into x integration sin x 2 integration x into integration of sin x is minus cos x minus minus cos x into derivative of x is 1 dx. So simplify this further so we will get x square sin x minus of minus plus 2x cos x minus of minus plus integration of cos x dx. So now x square sin x plus 2x, 2 will be common for both. So 2x cos x if you multiply inside plus 2 times you know integration of cos x gives you sin x positive plus c. This is the final answer. Further you can take uh, sin x common or you can leave it. So here we use parts 2 times. We applied parts rule 2 times. First time and then we use second time also. So you should know parts to solve these problems. Then integration of x into sin of 5x plus 7. Again I will write integration of x into sin of 5x plus 7. Again you can apply what parts. What is parts? First into integral of second. That is x into integral of second. Sin of 5x plus 7 dx minus integral of integral of second. Sin of 5x plus 7 dx into derivative of x. So now that is x into integral of sin x is minus cos of 5x plus 7 divided by 5 minus integral of minus cos of 5x plus 7 divided by 5 into derivative of x is 1 dx. Now simplify this so I can write it as minus x by 5 cos of 5x plus 7 minus of minus becomes plus 1 by 5 take it out integration of cos of 5x plus 7 dx. So now simplify this. So we will have minus x by 5 cos of 5x plus 7 plus integration of cos is what sin of 5x plus 7 divided by 5 5 is at 25 plus c. So these are the values. So now Dear students, in today's class, I explain integration by parts. Become thorough and practice these problems so that we can conclude the types of integrals. Thanks for attending. I'll see you in my next session. Thank you.